join our hearts to begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit Amen. be with you all. Amen. Good morning to you all. Good morning. And I welcome you with joy to this celebration. At this Mass today, we are requested to pray for the repose of the soul of Alvin Kuhlman. And for each and every one of you, your intentions, as we thank God for the gift of our deacon Archie, who celebrates 15 years today in the ministry, that the Lord may continue to strengthen him and give him the fullness of his joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we are sinners and in need of God's grace. Let us therefore take a moment, recalling the times we have failed God and man. Let us be sorry for them as we humbly ask God for his pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may the Almighty God have mercy on earth. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to life eternal. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and rests with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Proclamation from the first book of Samuel. When David and Saul approached on David's return from slaying the Philistine, women came out from each of the cities of Israel to meet King Saul, singing and dancing with tambourines, joyful song, and cisterns. The women played and sang, Saul has slain his thousands, and David his Ten thousands. Saul was very angry and resentful of the song, for he thought they give David ten thousands, but only thousands to me. All that remains for him is the kingship. <coughs> and from that day on, Saul was jealous of David. Saul discussed his intention of killing David with his son, Jonathan, with all his servants. But Saul's son, Jonathan, who was very fond of David, told him, My father Saul is trying to kill you. Therefore, please be on your guard tomorrow morning. Get out of sight and remain in hiding. I, however, will go out and stand beside my father in the countryside where you are and will speak to him about you. If I learn anything, I will let you know. <clears throat> Jonathan then spoke well of David to his father Saul, saying to him, Let not your majesty sin against his servant David, for he has committed no offense against you, but has helped you very much by his deeds. When he took his life in his hands and slew the Philistine, the Lord brought about a great victory for all Israel through him. You were glad to see it. Why then should you become guilty of shedding innocent blood by killing David without cause? Saul heeded Jonathan's plea and swore, as the Lord lives, he shall not be killed. So Jonathan summoned David and repeated the whole conversation to him. Jonathan then brought David to Saul, and David served him as before. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song, in God I trust, I shall not fear. In God, God I trust, I, trust, I shall not fear. fear. <clears throat> Have mercy on me, O God, for men trample upon me, and all the day they press their attack against me. My adversaries trample upon me all the day. Yes, many fight against me. In God I trust, I shall not fear. My wonderings you have counted. My tears are stored in your flask. Are they not recorded in your book? Then do my enemies turn back when I call upon you. In God, God I trust, I shall not fear. Now I know that God is with me. In God, in whose promise I glory, in God I trust without fear. What can flesh do against me? In God I trust, I shall not fear. I am bound, O God, by vows to you. Your thank, your thank offerings I will fulfill, for you have rescued me from death, my feet too from stumbling that I may walk before God in the light of the living. In God, God I trust, I shall be. Be stand. <coughs> Alleluia, 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 Alleluia.
and Saul in his thousands. And Saul became very upset. You know that the women were singing that, that they were giving more glory, more credit to David than himself. And he said to himself, imagine, every glory now goes to David. And myself, the king, I have no glory. The only glory I have now, the only power I have now, the only firm I have now is just my kingdom, just my kingship, because I'm the king. But every other thing goes to David. And he became very upset. Now the question became, while in the seminary, who told the women to go singing? Why did they go singing? David has killed in his tens of thousands. And Saul has killed in his thousands. One, it is a lie. Saul did not go to war, so he didn't kill anything. But then, he didn't see it that way. Sometimes in our lives, my brothers and sisters, we become jealous of the glories of God on others, on the, on the love, the mercy that God has conferred on others, on the frame that God has conferred on others. We become very jealous. That makes us angry. That makes us to begin to think of evil. That makes us to begin to wish another what is not good. That was actually what happened. But then, my brothers and sisters, at every moment in our life, let us remember that God has called us to become the light of the world. And that means that the world is in darkness without us. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you understand that? Yes. Without a Christian, without a Christian man, without a Christian woman, without a Christian child, the world is in darkness. Without a Christian, the world has no test. So God has moved us to become the light of the world that we might become the light of those in darkness. And that was actually what Jonathan did, the son, the son of Saul. Because David was waxing strong and he became very friendly. He became his friend, his friend. He loved him like a brother. So when Saul, his father, began to think of evil for, 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 for David, it was Jonathan who, remembering that he is the light of the world, the word of God said, a city placed on a hilltop cannot be hidden. He went in as a light, enlightened the darkness of the heart of his father. But he didn't end there. He went again to David and he said to David, my father wants to kill you simply because God has blessed you. Your praises are sung all over the city. Run away, escape. But I will go back to my father. I will talk to him about you. And when I hear anything, I will come back to let you know. He became the middleman. He became the light, illuminating the darkness of the heart of Saul. He became the mediator because he was filled with the light of Christ. He went back to his dad. Why do you want to do this? This young man fought for you, not for himself. He fought to protect your, your territory, to protect your kingdom. To retain you as the king, what evil has he done? The women and the people were singing his praises. They are still singing his praises. But that adds nothing to him. You are still the king. Relax. Enjoy the peace that God has given you through this man. And he calmed the heart of Saul for that moment. And then he went back again to David. And he talked to David. This is what I have done. But remain in hiding. My father's heart is not at peace yet. This is what we are all called to do. Not to become, not to become jealous of God's blessings on others, but to share in their joy and to mediate physically where there is crisis and problem. To show others what love is. And that was what Christ taught us in the gospel. The word of God said wherever he went to, they were bringing people of all kinds suffering from every Ill illness. And he was healing them. They were struggling to touch him and he was making himself available to be touched. Are you struggling to touch Christ? Who has made himself available? They weren't only coming to Jesus just for healing. They were coming because he was receptive, because he was loving, because he cared for them. What do people say about you, a Christian? 
What is your relationship with those around you? What are you known for and with? What is the trademark or the hallmark of your trade? The hallmark of our trade as Christians should be love, compassion, should be forgiveness, should be reconciliation, should be goodwill, and not jealousy that leads to destruction. Let us pray, my brothers and sisters, at this Mass, that the Lord may continue to illumine the hearts of our minds, and that through us, God may reconcile the world to himself. As today, all over the church, all over the world, the church celebrates the unity of Christians, that we Christians might be united in heart and mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us bring our needs to our loving Father, that he may hear us and answer in faith. Grant understanding and compassion to the Pope, our bishops, and all leaders of the church, to help us walk in the footsteps of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Give the leaders of all people in the world the grace to realize that they have but one Father, and may live not as strangers and enemies of one another, but as friends united in mutual love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant us the wisdom to recognize your image in all people and to serve them in you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Give each of us who through the incarnation became children of God and brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ the grace to live in peace with our neighbors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide us with the gift of understanding to realize more profoundly the bond between the Father who has created, the Son who has redeemed us, and the Holy Spirit who sanctifies us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Make strong our commitment to life. Help us teach others the values of respecting all life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Give peace and eternal life to all who have died. And bringing them and all the faithful departed to the joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your own personal intentions. For the unity of Christians all over the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have asked us to remember them at masses and prayers, that the Lord our God may visit them in their situation, transform them for good. For them we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions which lie deep in our hearts, each and every one of us here, God our Father, who bring ourselves, our families, who bring the work of our hands, who bring ourselves, who bring everything around us before you, begging you in your mercy to hear our prayers, grant us our hearts' desires, restore us to your wonderful joy, grant what we pray, spoken and unspoken, for we make them to you in faith, through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation. Through your goodness, we have this great earth of which ever given a human hands have made. May it become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the final work of human hands, may become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and a contrite heart. May the Lord wash over our iniquities and cleanse me from all my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our benefit of all his holy church. Amen. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, our work of redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord 
be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may become one who, who may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Archbishop, Chelsea's Auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the restoration and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Saints, St. Paul, St. Patrick, St. Francis, St. Ignatius, St. Anthony, St. Elizabeth, St. Veronica, St. Cecilia, St. Andre Bopre, St. Justin Bakita, St. Martha, St. Lucy, St. Catherine of Siena, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we bear merit to the co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we join our hearts. Let us call God Father in the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, we say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, by peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. But the peace and joy of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us share the sign of peace with each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, behold him, the Son of the Eternal Father, Jesus Christ himself, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those of us called to this servant of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my life, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to eternal life. Amen.
we have come to know and to believe in the love that God has for us. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness, make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, my Lord, and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Father. Thank you.